And now we'll look at the correct way of trimming and shaping a tree. So let's see how we can fix trees that might have been trained incorrectly and not pruned properly. And it really is pretty simple. A few good gardening tools. This is what we call an anvil pruner. Can you see that the nose goes slightly over this end over here, okay? Really good for slightly bigger jobs um, where you're trying to get into areas. It's a much stronger pair of secateurs. So all I'm gonna do to start off with is I'm literally just going to take away some of these spindly little branches at the bottom which actually are doing nothing much. There we go. Clear already. I've got the stake that's been left in the tree forever. So let's just get it out. That's the one. And let's cut off that. Now look at that. Watch here. Look at that. Okay, that's showing a really bad tree support. Okay, now that we've got that out the way, this guy is very happy to stand up on his own and already going to have a little bit more breathing space. Now, taking a look at this tree, we've got the main stem and then we've got it dividing into one, two over here and we've got a third one. This coming out here is only going to cause drama, all right? Really only going to cause trouble because what it's going to do is weaken this entire bough. So what I do want to do is I want to remove this out of here. Now, just as we've demonstrated with lots of other pruning, you always want to end up with a slight angle so that when the water does drop on it, the water can just simply drop off and fall away. I've got this, this um, little hand saw and it really is great. Gone are the days where you like really forcing sawing because this works on a pull action so watch here pull it actually cuts on the pull pull forward pull forward cut it away what you do want to do is have a bit of support over here because you don't want it to start tearing another way that you can do just to prevent that is just to do that okay because now it's the support, all the strength is going to be going there and we're going to be taking the pressure away from this end here. So carry on, that's all we go through. Remember, pull back, pull back. There we go. And that's it. Bring this guy down gently. And there we've got a nice neat cut. Good to go, all right? Let's take this guy off here. He's already rotted. Pull it off and linked to it, oh goodness me, is a whole van. So let's take that guy out as well while we're busy here. Let's get rid of that. Now we're looking better already. Showing the sexiness of the trunk. This um, tree is called a lavender tree, heteropexis. We can get rid of these thin skinny guys over here and this one here. Now, Finally, what I want to do is this. Have a look at this branch right here. This one and this one. On this side over here, it's all about balance. It really is all about balance because we've got one open trunk over here, another open trunk, but then we've got this coming off it. So we really want to try and balance this tree out. For this, I've got a nice pair of loppers. So the way we're going to do it is just pop it on as close to the main stem as possible. Okay, watch the action. Nice and slow. Pull it in. Okay, I'm just going to go across and cut the other one now. There we go. We've got a way looking sexier tree already. Opening the trunk up, lifting the canopy, getting rid of those unnecessary branches that really do bring out your weighting and disproportionate. <music>